Now, something I did not mention in the introduction video on Pythagoras' theorem. And I'll read directly from the screen for you. So the theorem states that the area of a square whose side is the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares on the other two sides. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but it's actually very basic. And I, and I, encourage, I encourage you to draw a right angle triangle on a graph paper. Right? Draw a right angle triangle on a graph paper. Something like this. Let me just right, so draw a right angle triangle on a graph paper. Now, when I draw this triangle, it's up to you to determine the length of your sides. So you can let the base be whatever you want to be. The A, let the length of A be whatever you want it to be. Let the length of B be whatever you want it to be. And then you connect B to C. You connect and you have your, you have your, you have your length C, you have your hypotenuse, right? No. let's say you use the length of A to be three for argument's sake. All right? Complete a square, form a square from this side A. So if whatever the length of A is, then this would be the same length. A. Can I remember, you know what's special about a square, right? What's special about a square? All sides are equal and all angles are right angles. In other words, all angles are 90 degrees. 90 degrees. From B, also do another square. And of course, whatever length you have for B, all the sides in this square will have the same length as whatever value you gave to B. Good? And then for C, another square. And again, make sure all the angles are right angles and make sure all sides are equal. All right now what is the area what is the area of this square what's the area of a square b is square right so we're calculate the area so the area of this square just do it it would be b square the area of this square would be a square how do you find the area of a square? The length times length, right? And all the length will be A, all the length will be B, whatever length you, you, you use. And then what's the area of this square here? C. Alright. So calculate the area. So you'll, you'll have actual values. Now what you'll find is that when you add the area of this square here and to this square here. So when you add the area for this square and this square and sum the value, the sum will be equal to the area of this square. All right, and that's what the theorem says. C square, which is what the area of this square would be equal to. And of course, it will be equal to the summation of this square, so a square, plus this square, that's b square. And that's the fundamental principle of Pythagoras theorem.